my name is Gunnar Peterson and I'm a personal trainer in Beverly Hills, California. And I train people. That's what trainers do. I've had the good fortune and honor to work with Sylvester Stallone and Bruce Willis over the years and um, both happen to be in Expendables too. I'm going to show you some of the body weight stuff they do on the monkey bars. I'm going to show you some of the combination resistance cardio movements they do on the cardio gym Avanti bike on the throw tread. I'm going to show you some of the things they do on core sticks, which involves a different kind of resistance, some rope work, and some of the movements that simulate action that you will see in the film. All right, I have with me Kevin Lilly, trainer extraordinaire here in LA via Philly, and Sylvester Stallone, AKA Barney Ross. Uh, I'm gonna show you the pull-up. It's a basic exercise, it's a body weight exercise, and it's something that when people are on a set or traveling and can't find a gym, you can usually find something like this just to get you over the non-exercise hump. So, coming up, you'll see a move we do for the Expendables. Not just a basic pull-up, but a lateral movement on it. So the muscles are engaging differently, you're not just using your dominant side. It's forcing him to be a more balanced athlete, which is what, at the end of the day, everybody's looking for, because the more balanced, the less likely you are to get injured. Then go straight into a basic pull-up. You can go to an underhand grip, there, an uneven grip, and then to a parallel grip. The more you mix it up, the muscles engage differently, they react differently, and they have to fire differently, which means they're always trying to adapt and therefore develop. All right, one of the things that nobody has that is expendable, see how I did that, is time. So this is a thorough tread which combines basic treadmill with resistance. So if uh, Kevin's walking on this, one of the things he can do to get more recruitment from the core and to engage other muscles is to push the chassis that moves. So now core musculature is working obviously by holding him upright, plus the chest front shoulders and triceps are engaged in a basic press. You can also make it more specific by going to say a one arm shoulder press while he's walking. So now he's firing obliques, intercostal, serratus, all the muscles down the side of it. This is something I would put anybody on. I would put an athlete on, especially an athlete who has a repetitive throwing motion, uh, a quarterback, a tennis player, a boxer, or an action hero because a lot of movements, a lot of punching, a lot of shoulder work. You want local muscular endurance and this is one way to get it. And you can go right from that, obviously you would do both sides, to a standing move, now a pull. So the resistance is on the way back. Posturally he's affected, core muscles are engaged, and you're getting so much more bang for your buck than just a basic treadmill workout. So this is a vintage dumbbell from artofstrength.com. Has a fatter handle and it's not a maraca. I filled it with shot. So it's different. The muscles fire differently to keep it stable. It's what we do as upright beings. The movement is half squat with a push press and a twist. So if you watch them go, lower body's involved, core's involved, and metabolically, he's like a hummingbird right now. Love it. And you don't have to do it with this kind of belt. You can do it with a dumbbell, you can do it with a carton of milk, you, whatever you have available to you. Don't let the lack of equipment stop you from doing this. Be creative and make it work. You wanna think about something that will give you six, eight, 10, 12, even up to 15 in the rep scheme, depending on where you sequence it in your programming. It's gonna be different for everybody and it depends on your goals. Are you looking to get big? Are you looking to get speed? Are you looking to get strong? You're asking your core to engage because your body's wants to tip this way, you're forcing the muscles to work this way. They're adapting, if they're adapting, they're changing. That's just how it works. You can look that up. All right, so this is called Core Sticks. It's a new product out. It has resistance rods. Hundreds of exercises you can do on this. I'm gonna give you a couple of basics. Here's a fly. 
So the reason you do different movements with different kinds of resistance or even the same movements with different kinds of resistance is to shock the body. It's to wake the muscles up, it's to force them to adapt. Don't forget, some of these guys, and I'm not gonna mention names, Sly Stallone, have been lifting forever, literally, I think he was a member when Leviticus had a gym. So you've gotta shock the body, you've gotta wake it up, and you gotta make it adapt in order to make it change. Another move you can do on this, as Kevin will show you, is an oblique rotation. Coming down deep, nice and low to the hip, turn, pivot, so everything's firing throughout his core. And he can easily switch hands and go to the other side. It's a functional move, it's an athletic move. It's an action hero move, man. Look at him. All right, so this is a chopping move on a pneumatic piece. I can give him more resistance here, less resistance here. And it's obviously useful for action, anything, but also in sports, think about throwing, rotating, pushing, pulling. Anything that works rotational or transverse plane is gonna be useful and applicable in real life or in movies. Chop away, my man. Phew. You can also do negative reps on this, a ton of great things to do with this, it's a terrific tool. All right, so this is a quad mill, and it's a great way to do squats if you don't want to or can't axial load, meaning putting a bar or a weight across your upper back and compressing your spine. Not that there's anything wrong with that, it is the king of all exercises, but some people can't do that. In fact, some people can't get their hands back in the position to hold the bar. Sly has had uh, more surgeries than he's had leading roles, and he's had his shoulder rebuilt and redone a number of times leading up to this film even, and so if you think about getting your hands back there, it's not always possible for everybody. On this, you can still get the work in the quads and the glutes and the hips without loading by varying the intensity of the floor drop. Watch this, Kevin, hit the start button, drop yourself down into a squat. So he's squatting without moving. Working on keeping the grip light. You see the floor dropping out from under him. Usually by 15, 18 seconds, the quads start to light up. Am I right? Yeah, Yep. Around the 30 second mark, sparks will shoot off him. You can also stagger your stance. So you can create an uneven load, firing more core, more sport specific. It's a great way to work the lower body without having to load the upper body. So now you've seen some of the moves that we do here in the gym and obviously I change the workouts up every single time for every single person. Keeps the body guessing, keeps the mind engaged. This is not just for these guys. I mean, different moves, different sequencing, different permutations of rep schemes, set schemes, rest intervals. That's all the stuff that goes into creating a program that's comprehensive and that works not just for action heroes and athletes, but it can work for you. So don't take the whole thing and jam it together, but find a way to piece it together in your own workout. Even if you're just starting out, there's definitely something here that you can take, that you can assimilate and put into your workout to keep it fun and to keep you going back. And that's the way to get the results that these guys have. Oh my God, Expendables 2 is showing now, I gotta go. You still here? It's because you want more, I know. Check out bodybuilding.com, Expendables 2, and have fun with this, because I can tell you this, they did.